huge bag of seeds in our woodshed just hanging out. We have a few bags like this that we just had such an abundant harvest this year, which is wonderful that we didn't really have enough time to properly store these seeds. So this germination test rate will provide us with the information to see just how viable these seeds are. And today we're going to test the germination rate of our sunflower seeds that we harvested from this summer's harvest. And to do the math simply, we're going to be filling 10 pots and putting one seed in each pot so that at the end of our germination period, which is about two to three weeks for a sunflower seed, sometimes even about 10 days or so, we will see just how viable that these seeds are. So I have my two helpers here and we have some organic potting soil that we're going to be using. And this is a little bit larger than the size of pot that you need, but this is what we had. So this is what we use. So let's start by filling these pots with dirt. Determining your germination rate could be helpful if you have, like we do, a collection of a lot of seeds and you want to see just how much you should sow in each place depending on the plant that you're expecting. Or it could be because you are trading your seeds or selling your seeds and you want to make sure that they are indeed viable for the people that are purchasing them or receiving them. How many of our seeds grew? Let's check it out. So here's our 10 potted plants. How many did we end up with? All 10 of our seeds we planted sprouted and I noticed something. Two seeds in one pot and both of those seeds sprouted. You got it. There we go. So we actually ended up with a bonus. But they've all sprouted so that means that our germination rate was 100%. I hope you like this video. From? You and your friends. For you and your friends from Say Why Chicken Thigh. Say Why Chicken Thigh.